Welcome to one of two host F550 4x4 270 platforms. This one here is a 2008, 57,000 original miles, actually a little less than that. Upgrades include LED fog lights, running lights, lift kit, two and a half inch, keep to the minimum, DBL design, severe duty wheels and tires, as well as lift kit. We'll also do tours with the wells open and everything else. First look at the worn winch, custom two bumper, dual stabilizing bars, lots of ground clearance. Nice for the dunes, high desert. Keyless entry, which is really nice if you're at the mountain, don't have to carry your keys. We'll go around with the wells later. We'll do a virtual walk around. Brand new awnings, dual pane windows, LED lights all on both sides, backup camera, ski racks, spare tire carrier folds down, LED backup reverse lights in addition to the other lights, quickie steps molded in, fold out, of course your fun stickers, good for every expedition vehicle where you've been, feel free to adopt mine. We'll do a video with all the lights on as well. Battery compartment, double storage compartment, outdoor entertainment system. Custom fender flares, window tent, everything you could want. There's the FlowJet skylight, remote controlled. So you can look around with the remote control. We'll add a couple other videos here in just a minute. All right, now let's walk around with our wells open and look at all the sample storage you have. First off, we've got our first small well. This well actually goes through all the way to the other side. Got access all the way through. Got an air chuck hooked to the central air compressor there so you don't need to worry about uh, running airlines. Chains, nice big generator, 3600 watt. Propane fill, extra saddle tank diesel that actually fills into with electric pump to the main diesel. Main diesel, extra storage compartment again goes upside. There's recovery boards there up on the right. Also got track grabbers included with that. Need to have for sand dunes recovery. All the recovery devices and apparatuses you could want, snatch blocks and everything included. There you go, there's your uh, outside shower and all your main facilities. Extra propane hose in case you have that nice camp chef. You can actually hook up to the main propane tank. Outdoor storage continues. Here we got ski rack on the left side if you want to use it for that. Fishing pole rack on the right side. Never have too much diesel, so there's another diesel five gallon spare tank just in case you want to use it. That one's new, never even used. All your light switch, accessory plugs, Everything there, fully lit by the picture. Spare tire folds down, actually folds down all the way to the ground so it's easy to load and unload. Extra LED lights, which we already talked about, quickie steps. Six volt batteries, all four brand new. Uh, main quick connect inside the well there, turns it on and off. Nice big, large storage here. So this one actually has a small compartment that goes above. AC inverter, everything there. Got all your air lines and air jacks. Connects to the 110 of the generator. Back to this other well. Goes again across the other side. All lit. All the main wells are lit. Plenty of lights so you can see what you're doing. Tons of storage and more. Next video we'll do with the slides open. Okay, now we're going to do a walk around with the slides open. Take a look at the uh, clearances. Larger slide on this side, give more interior room. You'll notice when those doors were open for the wells, it did not make contact with the slides because some of these were designed not to slide all the way up. Come around here to the other side. Excuse my shaking. Ladder was reconfigured so you don't have to fold it down. It stays permanently attached in sections so you can lift the back hatch. Not worry about the ladder. 
and the quickie steps nice good clearance when it's up and also a nice good step elevation when it's down all right next video we'll do with all the exterior lights on let's take a tour of the inside of the host on entry of your quickie electric steps that retract automatically you've got your coat rack plenty of storage bathroom to the left kitchen to the right slide controls overhead the door you have all of your tank management and fuses and switches low hours in the generator surround sound system solar panel below the solar panel are two light switches for the exterior LED lighting both propane and induction cooktop convection microwave plenty of overhead cabinetry above both the kitchen and the dinette plenty of cabinet storage slide out drawers where you can use it for a hanging pantry if you wish Dometic 8 cubic foot fridge queen size bed wardrobe closet storage above the bed storage left side of the bed storage overhead inside the closet got plenty of storage hanging or folding however you wish you have the dinette makes that into a bed as well flat screen TV surround sound system again DVD and also stereo controls bathroom access before we go in the bathroom we'll turn around and look at it with the bed up so beds up easy access into the cab nice walk in and out of the cab four captain's chairs all leather manuals two volumes storage underneath both electric heaters and also the central propane heater AC inside the dry bath plenty of towel storage sink plenty of cabinetry nice walk-in shower with the moonlight and wand with a suburban water heater Got both an electric fan for the bathroom a fantastic fan with thermostat for the main plenty of large lighting and windows all the way around as you can see from the exterior pictures plenty of light in the daytime let's take a look from the other side so there's mirror panels on both top and bottom right now it's got a shade out vinyl flooring again central heat propane Got a fan there for the access to the water pipes for the back side of the shower and also for circulating heat. Plenty of cabinetry, plenty of storage inside and also outside. Very comfortable living. Very comfortable. Here's your uh, monitoring for the... Uh, Carbon dioxide, propane management. For both the cellular blinds, you also have blackout blinds and also curtains. For closing off the bed, there's soft curtains and also hard curtains. So you can do some serious winter sealing of the environment. Been to the mountains, completely warm 
quickly heats the temp, whatever you want it to be. Uh, antenna controls, smoke detectors, DVD controls. There's also the FlowJet, which is a, a remote controlled sky, uh, spotlight. It's on the front. You'll see that on the front top of the cab. Any questions, feel free to ask.